Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And share this video and any of my videos with others. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. And I want to do a dual purpose video, an unboxing, and then also an assembly. You can check the link within this video's description to find where to order this online. But it's a very, uh, <clears throat> I felt it was a very nice, an affordable piece of furniture. It's going to be part of the Irish Guys Adventure Channel set. That's the YouTube channel you're watching right now. So I'm going to use it in conjunction with some other furniture, but we're going to see what we've got. And we're going to go through step by step and assemble this. So if you had any doubts about ordering this, you can see exactly what it looks like out of the box and step by step how I assembled it in 4K. So if you have a 4K monitor, crank it up and you can see all the detail. It's a very good packaging job here. What I always like to do with furniture is uh, first make sure there's no damage and there doesn't seem to be to the box. And I'm going to set all this off to the side here. So temporarily part of this may go off camera, but don't worry. I'll I'll be on camera when we're, when we're assembling this. So there's one of the legs right there. Good, uh, good looking, good build quality in my opinion. I like how they package this because a lot of times when you get when you get furniture there's little pieces of foam and it just gets to be a mess. And they even took advantage of the drawer space to put this box. So I guess it's gonna have some mounting hardware. So that's everything in the box. Uh, not intimidating at all from a uh, from a complexity perspective. So I'm going to put all this trash back in the box and get this out of the way so we can assemble this. So, you know, if you're, if you're one of those people you thought that, oh, well, that's, that's very affordable and it looks nice, but I'm afraid I don't know how to assemble it. I'm hopefully about to cure those concerns. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can, uh, you can order this online. Get this box out of the way here. Actually, I'm going to take it off the camera here so it's out of the way. And by the way, I've never assembled one of these before, so. This is a true test. There's a lot of pieces, but what I like is how they've labeled the individual bags with letters. A lot of furniture you get is just pieces and you've got to match it up using a diagram. Uh, this is a lot more user friendly. So each little baggie is labeled, that's great. So now we are going to go to Let's see. And put all these over here. 
and we're gonna get this base, this big piece right here. Actually, that slides out right now, so we're gonna slide that out. Okay, so we're gonna get piece C, and see these are labeled on the end. There's C. And there's C there. It's going to attach right in front of that, uh, see where the drawer slides out. And then the other one's gonna go over here. But before we do this, let's see. M, G, K. So we need M. we got K right here. And G. And then M. M is the finishing cap. So we will put... Oh wait, there's an L too. So there's L. Okay, you'll, you'll see how I do this. So, first thing we do, we get a G. And I'm just going to pull these out of the bag one by one so I don't have to resort them. So we're actually going to use one, two, two of these G's per each thing. So we're going to do two legs right now, so I'm going to get four of these out. Uh, the next step is to to uh, slide an L followed by a K. So for each one of these nuts, or bolts rather, we're going to put an L on first. So we're going to need four L's. So I'm going to put an L on each one of these bolts. And then the next thing we're going to do is put a K on each one of these four bolts. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two of these aside because they're going to be used for this leg. I'm going to grab these two and we're just going to start this leg here. So again, I'm starting close to where this drawer came out. So there's holes there. Just stick this through. One through the top. And then one through the bottom. And line up those holes. Once you've got them lined up, get the tool that was in the bag and turn it. Now, like anything else, I would not tighten this much at all. I would just tighten enough to hold it. And then that way, once everything's assembled, you can go back and tighten it more.
now they're both in, I'm actually going to go ahead and tighten it <laughs> all the way. You don't want to make it too tight, but you want to get it to where it feels firm. Okay, that feels firm. So now what I'm going to do is put the plugs in. Now the plugs are M, so those are those. Let me just check one more time before I put them in. Yeah, if you start to hear wood kind of cracking, you don't want to go any harder. But you'll feel it. I mean, once it's firm, you'll know. But you don't want to over tighten because that could crack the wood. You don't want it too loose because you'll get wobble. So now we take this M piece. You know, two of them actually. Put one in the one hole and one in the other. And now we're going to do the same thing with this opposing side, which is right here, right beside the drawer. Or actually, it's not that one. The one we're going to do next is this one over here. So diagonally across. So again, we've already got our bolts with our with our pieces on them. So now put this over here. Again, just get it started first and then tighten more.
Okay, and that's in there. Now we're going to get our, our end cap, which is M, is in Mary. And we're going to push those in. And these end caps are obviously cosmetic, but see, like on this other side, I didn't push them in far enough. They were, they were starting to come out. Okay, so, and just double check, make sure everything's sturdy, and it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these bags out of the way so I don't confuse them with the other. And we're going to get H, F, and B. So we're going to get H. We're going to get F. Oh, well B is the base. So B is this piece right here. So we're going to flip this piece over. So not on the finished looking side, but the side that says B. And what I'm going to do to make this more simple to see, is I'm going to slide this out of the way. So we've got H and F, and then this B piece. So we're going to prep this. And it's good to stretch your legs periodically when you're doing this because it is kind of kind of crazy. So let's get all these F's out. Okay, so there's four F's. And then we're going to need four H's. Okay, so four H's. Now these are just little brackets. Uh, there seems to be no difference in orientation as you can see there, see? So what you want to do is you want to position it over this hole with the bracket side that's sticking up facing towards the outer rim of this, see? And then simply put your uh, put your piece in there. Keep this lined up while you're doing it. <clears throat> so yeah, you probably need to hold your fingers on the on the top piece when you're tightening. So that it stays aligned. So I'm going to show you this close up, and this is what I'm going to do to all four. See? four of these.
Okay, so once those are on there, then we bring our big piece back over. And with this finished side facing down towards the floor, you're going to gently slide this over these two legs here. Yeah, let's see. You don't want to scratch it. So you'll see there's a screw hole there and a screw hole there that this is going to go to. Okay, there's that hole over there. There's that hole there. So you'll line those up. Now be very careful with this because I could hear the wood kind of cracking when I was doing that. These are also using H. So we're going to use H here to attach these two legs. And then we'll save the other two H's when we get to the other legs, but... I'm not going to tighten these a lot yet because we got to put the other legs on. So So we're going to get these G bolts back out, these right here, the bag of G, and these are going to be for the, for the remaining legs, so we're going to use, let's see, we did L and then we did K, we're going to do L on each of these. And then we're going to put a K on each of these. Okay, so we got L's and K's. Now all we got to do is same thing we did with the other legs, except now we're going to have to line these up when we go. So we're going to put our, we'll do this side first. And again, I didn't over tighten these because 
want to make sure we can like move this stuff around if we need to. So do your uh, tighten your leg into the bottom part down here. When you're putting these legs on, you're probably going to feel a lot more pressure down here. Because as you tighten this, this is getting closer to that. And I'm not going to finish tightening this leg yet because I'm going to put the one on the opposing side on. Make sure everything mates up. And just drop these in here. Stretch my legs. So before I tighten those down there anymore, I'm going to go ahead and put these pieces in here. But I'm not going to over tighten them. I'm just going to start the, the screwing it in, you know. And this was H, by the way, just like we used earlier for these legs. And surprisingly, those match up perfectly. And that was something I was worried about because, you know, that could get really tricky. So now let's tighten these legs the rest of the way.
Now I'm gonna do this other side over here. Now when the legs are in, just kind of gently fill them and see if they have any wobble. Again, you don't want it too tight, but you want it tight enough to where it's not going to wobble around. And then your final step for the for the leg pieces is to put these M as in Mary caps on. They're just cosmetic, but they just snap in to cover the holes where the screws are. And now let's tighten these the rest of the way. Don't want to over tighten, but tighten enough to where it's, you know, it's got a good connection. And then we're going to tighten the original ones that we put in more. Now I will say this is a very sturdy table. I'm very impressed with the build quality of it. Okay, so all of those are very tight now. Uh, let's see. There's extra hardware. Oh, this little bag right here, and actually it's not labeled, but it's soft stuff. A little soft feet, especially if you're using if you've got a hardwood floor, you're going to want to get these four pieces. While you've got this flipped over, uh, simply take the adhesive tape off and position them on the bottom of the legs. Even if you're using this on carpet, I would go ahead and install these just so they're there, 
so you don't scratch up your floors if you move or install hardwood floors or whatever. Okay, so now you should have those on all four legs. And we're not finished yet, but we're getting close. I'll stretch my legs here. If you want to take this little sticker off, I mean, not that you're going to see under the table, but now would be a good time to do that. just to make it look more professional. To look at this table, you wouldn't realize that it was a, uh, a do-it-yourself assembly job. I mean, it looks really nice. It looks like something you'd get in a furniture store. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can get this table uh, there. Very affordable. Um, so now what we're going to do is get this drawer that we pulled out. And we're going to get E, D, I. There's E and I. And let's see, D. Oh, D is the drawer. That's what they're referring to as D. So all we're going to do here... I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. There's the knob for the drawer, and then there's the little bolt. So we're going to put the, the knob on the outside. And then just screw it on here. I'm going to move this table out of the way. And see, that's very sturdy. It does have a Phillips head screw if you wanted to tighten it more, but I mean, there's, I finger tightened that and that was fine. Now there is a final piece here, it's called J, which is this piece right here. Looks like a little peg. So what you're gonna do with J, is you're going to, uh, let's see. This just prevents the drawer from coming all the way out. So, let's see. Oh no, it's the drawer stopper, rather. So I'll demonstrate this here before we put it in. So if you look, if you look in there, there's a little hole in the middle. And that's the drawer stopper, so. So basically all we're going to do is just stick this down that little hole. And now when you push the drawer in, it'll stop right there so it won't go. If you didn't have that stopper there, the drawer could potentially slide all the way back. So let me lift this up so you can see it. So see that little peg right there? That's it. That's the only hole you can put it in. And then when you slide your drawer in, It stops. I 
actually. It's, it's not going far enough back. Let me see. Oh. Huh. I may have put that in the wrong hole. I did. So what I'm going to have to do now is pull that out. Because it belongs... It belongs in the forward hole. So it's, it's to stop the drawer from sliding all the way out the front, not from the back. Okay. So I pulled this out, and I apologize for the mistake, but there's a hole right there towards the front. So that's where this is going to go, the front hole, not the middle hole. And you're actually going to need to slide the drawer in first and just have it partially open. So like, put it in there. And then you're going to have to reach your hand in here and stick this peg in that hole. And you'll be able to fill the hole. And then once you do, see now it stops. So that's what that does. It enables the drawer to close. Well, the drawer closes all the way, but if you pull it out, it's only going to pull out that far because of the peg. Whereas if you didn't have the peg in there, it would pull all the way out. So I'm, I'm very impressed with this furniture. Or as you can see, it was, it was quite easy to assemble. Uh, no special effects here. This was start to finish assembling this table. Again, check the link within this video's description and you can, uh, you can order one of these online for yourself. Just a good quality table. I felt the price was right. And yeah, it took a little bit of time, but you saw you know, the step-by-step -step process. I don't think it was that extreme. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.